Hello, hello, hello. It's Stephanie here at Rent to Rent Success, and I'm delighted to be back for another one of our Rent to Rent short and sweet videos where we give a lot of uh, information in a little bit of time. Remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel. So let's dive in. Today's is all about a comment that I got from Alexandra when I asked what stops people from getting started in rent to rent and Alex said that it was fear before making the first step before contacting a landlord before sending a letter or before making a phone call so today I'm going to give you the tips for how to get over those fears so that you can get started on your dreams because most of us are doing this because we don't want to just rely on the nine to five. We want to break away from the nine to five. We're one of the five percent of people who want something different. We want to create our own wealth and this fear holds us back. So how do you get over it? Well first of all let me explain that any time you're trying to better yourself, you're trying to do something different, you're always going to have fear. It's going to get you in different ways. It's going to gnaw in your belly. It's going to take control of your mind. And I want you to think of this like um, a toddler having a tantrum. So your part of your brain, your um, let's call it your chimp brain or your toddler brain is designed, it's against fear, um, it likes safety. It likes safety, it wants you to stay safe. It does not want you to go outside the cave. It does not want you to do anything that you don't normally do. And that's why it gives you those intense feelings of fear that put you off from moving forward on your dream. So how do we get past that? We've all experienced that at different times. For some people it might be public speaking. For some people it might be picking up the phone uh, to a letting agent. For some people it might be just telling people that we're now in business. Um, how do you get over it? The way to get over it is counterintuitive. It's not what you would think. The way to get over these things is just to lean into them, to expect that your, your heart's going to be racing, you're going to feel scared. But those feelings are just feelings and they will go away. So when you lean into it, say, yes, I, I, can, I know that you're afraid. Don't be afraid. I know it feels scary, but it's just a phone call. So you reassure yourself, but the most important thing is you lean into the fear and you still take the action. So if you're scared of making the call, you still make the call. You do the best you can with what you've got right now and you 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 make the call with your current skill level. Obviously, over time, your skills are going to improve. So the side effect of leaning into the fear and doing it anyway is that if we go back to the toddler uh, tantrums, if every time you go to the shop, your toddler is going crazy for chocolates and you give in to chocolate and don't give them, that's the equivalent, he's going to do it more or she is going to do it more each time you go to the shop. But if you don't give in and you go past those tantrums and you still do what you're going to do, your toddler's going to start having tantrums less because they don't get the results that they want. So with, with yourself, when you go past your fears, those fears are going to come up less because you don't respond to them. You're taking the actions anyway, so they're going to come up less. And the, 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 the third point I wanted to make is it's like a muscle. So uh, you're going to get stronger. So the more that you do these things that scare you slightly, the stronger you'll become and the more able you are to do other things that scare you. And that's how it all builds up. So um, when you first start calling agents, uh, you might feel a little bit scared, but you do it anyway and it becomes less scary. Some people say that after one, two, after just a few phone calls, they're totally okay with it. It's, it happens that quickly. And then it'll be the next step. Somebody might ask you to come and give um, a talk about your experiences in property and then you'll have another level of fear. But then if you do it anyway, you can then move up to the next step. So every step is a level higher, a step closer to your dreams. So let me recap for you. If you want to get started in Rent to Rent but fear is holding you back, number one, just appreciate that those feelings will be there. Number two, lean into them 
and do it anyway. Take the actions anyway. And, and number three, know that it is like a muscle and that you are going to become stronger and better. So I hope that was useful. Let me know in the comments. And if you want to get started on your rent to rent journey and you haven't yet done our free online training, The Five Secrets of Rent to Rent Set Success in our How to Sack Your Boss workshop, then the link is under this email. And also join our Rent to Rent Success Secrets Facebook group and subscribe to our Rent to Rent Success YouTube channel. And of course, give us a like. I will see you again soon. Bye for now.